Hey MPC kids, I hope that your quarantine is going well and that you are finding lots of ways to have fun with your family. I found one last week that I wanted to share with you. It is a fun way to play with some things that we normally play with around Easter when we're dyeing Easter eggs, but even if you don't have Easter eggs, you can do this experiment. All you need is some baking soda, some white vinegar, and some food coloring. And I have put my baking soda in a big tray so I have lots of room to play, but you can put it in whatever kind of tray or bowl or container you have. And I mixed my vinegar with my food dye so now I can play with some of these things. Now, we have talked about before at Good News 2's and in VBS that vinegar and baking soda go really well together because baking soda is a base and vinegar is an acid. And when you combine those two things, something really fun happens when they share their protons, something really cool happens. So let's see if we can make it happen <coughs> today. I'm gonna get, I have an old medicine dropper. Maybe you have some of these lying around or some eye droppers, or you could even use a straw and just kind of put it in the water and close the top and get some liquid in. But I'm going to use my medicine dropper and I am going to get some of my vinegar in here and then I'm going to put it in there. Can you see what's happening? We're making some bubbly creations in the baking soda. Anywhere that we put the vinegar and the vinegar and baking soda touch, we're going to get a nice little bubbly creation. Maybe we can make some snakes or some other shapes. My dropper doesn't get very much in it. Maybe if I get some more. Oh, there's a really long one. They look like big fuzzy caterpillars for a second while they're foaming up, don't they? Well, here's the deal. We're in quarantine right now, right? With our quarantine buddies, with our family members. And it's a good thing that we have someone else with us because in Ecclesiastes, the Bible tells us that two are better than one for they can help each other succeed. If one person fails, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm, but how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Well, we are really lucky, aren't we, that we are with our families and we have someone around to help take care of us, to help spend time with us, to help make this time pass. But there are some people right now that are quarantined alone. And it must be kind of sad to be alone, don't you think? So what are some ways that we can connect with the people that are alone right now, with the people that don't have so many family members in their house with them? Could we FaceTime with them? Could we make them something and send it in the mail? Could we maybe do a Zoom call with them or a Skype call with them if we don't have FaceTime? Could we just call them on the phone? Maybe you can ask your parents if you can reach out to someone this week, someone that might be alone. And I know some people that are in that situation, so if you don't know who to talk to, I can give you some of the wonderful people in our MPC church community that are sheltering by themselves right now so that you could reach out to them. And remember this week, no matter how frustrated you might get with your quarantine buddies, to appreciate that you have them, that two are better than one and three are even better. And maybe you guys can come up with some more fun ways to play with baking soda and vinegar together like we did today. Happy quarantine, friends.